if you're visiting the Lone Star State or maybe if you reside in the best state in the country, there's a lot to do right here in Lone Star State. And in this video, we're going to discuss 10 of the most popular things that you can do whether you reside in the state of Texas or you're visiting, so stay tuned. Guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker with VIP Realty right here in the state of Texas. And today we're covering 10 of the most popular activities that you can do in the Lone Star State. Whether you want to do hiking, maybe you're into history, I don't know, maybe you want to catch a rocket ship into outer space, if you believe in all that. I don't want to get sidetracked. Let me stay on topic. Anyways, today we're going to cover some very exciting activities, whether you're single or you have your kids and you just want to spend a dang good time right here in Texas. Plenty of things that you can do. I am at one of the most popular activities that you can do in Texas and I did not bring my kids on purpose, mainly because when I do bring them, I end up spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So I decided to do this video while they're at school. Probably gonna get in trouble here later this afternoon, but it's going to be okay. So guys, let's get into a couple of the quick facts in regards to living in the best state in the country, the state of Texas. Texas is a diverse and culturally rich state with a multitude of attractions and activities for visitors and residents. And I put together a list that I think one should see and experience if you live or just visiting. I'll discuss some of the major attractions in the big cities like Dallas, Houston, Austin, and San Antonio, as well as the smaller towns in Texas. So let's get right into it, starting with the number one attraction. It's right here in my hometown, the city of Dallas, Texas, and that is the Texas State Fair. If you want to eat all kinds of crazy cuisine, foods, if you want to ride some rides, if you want to, listen, right here, see this right here, guys? You already know I get buckets, okay? Coach Soto has a better three-point shot than Steph Curry. Everybody knows that. And here in a minute, I'm going to show you as I win all these prizes, but probably gonna have to do that as we wrap up the video. I don't wanna be that guy walking around the state fair with a ton of stuffed animals. But to start off the video, before we discuss everything that you can do at the state fair, I can show you better than I can tell you. So let's start out by testing some of this amazing food that the fair is known for. See that long line? Check this out, guys. It just opened, so uh, maybe we're gonna have to get something else because this is a very popular item. I believe it's fried pho. They also have fried Snickers, everything fried under the sun you can obtain right here in this little booth. Let's walk around and see what we can get into. The Texas State Fair is an annual event held in Dallas. It is one of the largest and most renowned state fairs in the country, known for its size, variety of attractions, and deep-rooted traditions. The fair typically runs for about three weeks, starting in late September and extending into October. The fair features a wide variety of, of activities and attractions, including live music performances, amusement rides, my son's favorite, various shows and entertainment, architectural and livestock exhibits, creative arts and displays, and a diverse selection of food vendors offering an assortment of classic fair food and unique Texas treats. One of the main highlights of the fair is the iconic 54-foot tall statue of Big Tex, which has become a symbol of the event. One thing to keep in mind when you're visiting the State Fair of Texas is you're going to need coupons to get on the rides, even to purchase your food. It's been a while since I visited the State Fair of Texas, and as I went to go get a snack, I was told that I needed coupons. So here we are in the coupon line. Let's just hope we can keep the expenses to a minimum. So let's see what we're gonna get into. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I stacked up the chips, guys. Now I'm ready to purchase my first item of the day. <laughs> and guys, not to sound like an alcoholic, okay? I know it's early in the morning, but I was told these candoritas, or what is it called? Cotton candorita, I think I'm saying it right, are very, very good. So I'm just gonna say I'm on vacation for today, and we're gonna start out the morning off right 
with a margarita that I've never tried before, so let's check it out. Hey, how are you, ma'am? Could I get a cotton candy Rita, whatever that is? Are you taking one? Thank you so much, ma'am. Appreciate it. Check this out. I feel like I'm back in Cancun, Mexico, except this is probably going to be better. Let's see. Let's see, guys. I don't even know how to, where to begin. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good day. If you enjoy margaritas as much as I do, I've never had one of these before. Now I need to see if Miko Cena Glorious can add this to their menu because it is absolutely delicious. Okay, moving on to the second thing that you can do right here in the state of Texas, in no particular order. Once you visit the state fair of Texas, you can take a very short drive, 30 minutes away into Tarrant County, into the city of Fort Worth, Texas, where you can visit the stockyards. If you're gonna reside in the state of Texas, you're gonna need two items a big cowboy hat and some cowboy boots just like big tex right behind me has i must say i've lived here my entire life born and raised and i don't have a pair of boots nor a cowboy hat and quite frankly i pretty much would look ridiculous if i tried it on it's just not my attire however if you're going to reside in texas the cowboy culture has a big significance in the state of Texas. So throughout the day, you're going to run into people who take pride in their cowboy hats, big belt buckles, and massive boots just like Big Tex. And if you're into the country way of life, if you want to check out a rodeo, maybe you want to do some line dancing, country dancing, the Stockyards in Fort Worth, Texas is going to be the place you're going to want to hit up. The Fort Worth Stockyards Historic District was once known as Cowtown thanks to the millions of cattle that made their way to Fort Worth during the mid-19th century. Today, the Fort Worth Stockyard has transformed into a popular tourist destination and entertainment district, maintaining much of the historic charm. It features a variety of attractions including restaurants, shops, rodeo events, and western-themed activities that provide visitors the taste of the Old West. The districts also host regular events such as cattle drives, rodeos, and live music performances which showcase the rich culture, heritage, and traditions of the region. Additionally, the Fort Worth Stockyard offers visitors the opportunity to explore museum and experience the authentic Western lifestyle through its various interactive exhibits and educational programs. After exploring the streets during the day and after spending the day at the stockyards and learning a little bit more of the Western heritage culture right here in Texas, you're going to want to shine them boots, polish that belt buckle, put on that Stetson cowboy hat, and hit the streets. I forget the honky talk joint. My admin at VIP Realty is in Fort Worth. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I believe Sunday as well, country dancing. I believe it's called Billy Bob's. So if you're in town and you're looking for some late night entertainment, maybe you want to do some dancing, Billy Bob's is going to be the place where you're not going to see me, but you're definitely going to see some of the VIP staff having a great time. So day or night, you can have a dang good time at the stockyards. Okay, guys, you already know I'm one of the best basketball players that's ever lived, contrary to what you hear on ESPN. If I do not make this shot, we already know all games are rigged. Okay, so I'm just putting that out there before I even take the shot. It's not that I missed, it's that this rim play has three rims attached in the one and that this ball is twice the size of the hole. Anyway, enough making excuses, let's get right to it. See how I did that behind my back, guys? Take two, take two. That's what I do. Here we go. Ooh. Let me shoot that again. I'm gonna shoot that again. I don't even wanna put the state fair out there. They've been so good to us. But guys, don't play the basketball, okay? Because obviously, they're not putting the right size ball that you need to use. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm out of here. Okay, let's keep the fun rolling right here in the Lone Star State by moving on to our next attraction. And guys, as you can see from the sign behind me, there's going to be some cab, okay? I had a cotton candy margarita. Please don't judge me. I'm having to do this specifically and only for these videos. I'm not in the hill country, but we're going to discuss 
some of the main attractions that you can do down in the hill country but to start it off have no choice but to get a glass of wine since we will be discussing the hill country ten coupons there you go sir appreciate it you guys keep up the good work thank you be safe any and all cab <laughs> is going to be okay in my book guys if you're done turning up dealing with crowds all day hectic non-stop activities then you want to head to the hill country where it's a more laid back you can slow it down have yourself some wine tour the hill country which is absolutely beautiful one of the biggest differences between the hill country and the Metroplex Dallas Fort Worth in Houston is going to be the terrain when I'm driving throughout the city of Dallas. It is a concrete jungle. There's nothing to look at except flat concrete roads. And I love and appreciate any time that I'm able to go to the Hill Country and just kick back and relax. So if you want to change up the pace, that's where you're going to want to visit. The best way to see the Texas Hill Country is to start northeast of San Antonio and make your way to Austin. It's not just amazing scenery and good wine, it makes part of the state so memorable. The Texas Hill Country refers to a region and central part of Texas known for its beautiful rolling hills and valleys. It encompasses a large area of central and south central Texas, stretching from the Austin area to the west, almost to San Antonio in the south. The region is characterized by rugged terrain, spring-fed rivers, and a diverse array of plants and animal life. The Hill Country is also going to be a popular destination for outdoor activities. So if you like hiking, biking, fishing, boating, it's a nice change of pace. And if you enjoy wine as much as I do, you can enjoy a wine testing tour about the different small towns of the Hill Country. So if you want to enjoy a nice change of pace, a slower pace in a small Texas town. Guys, and if you haven't visited a small Texas town, I suggest you do. It's not all about the big city. And if you go back on my playlist, we did a small town lake life video, which was absolutely amazing. So if you want to enjoy some peace and quiet, enjoy some wine, head to the Hill Country. One of the best things about visiting the fair is going to be all the food vendors. Guys, there's hundreds of different foods, different cuisines. Pretty much everything's going to be fried, probably unhealthy, which is right up my alley. And on a side note, and I just realized, guys, that I'm walking around with a margarita with a cotton candy stuck on my straw. What can I tell you? I am very secure in my manhood, okay? I have no issues walking around with this little fruity drink, okay? I'm okay with that. Now let's go and try one of the most popular foods that won the Big Tech's Most Creative Choice Awards. I'm gonna be the judge of that myself, okay? Because I don't take anybody's word for it unless I check it out myself. So let's check it out. Caramel sopa pia, please. You sure can. I heard it was good. I don't know if it's true or not. Wow, that looks pretty darn good. Ooh, that looks good, my friend. 20 coupons. There's 10, 20. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. You're welcome. The beignets as well. Okay, cut this thing. So just ordered the bourbon banana soap appeal, which has won the Big Tech's Choice Award. Now I must say. It was only coupons, but it was $20 worth of coupons. So this item better be good. So let's check it out and see as I always tell you the truth. If it's bad, I'll let you know if it's bad, but it looks pretty uh, unhealthy. So I'm sure it's going to be delicious. This is exactly what my youngest son, Nathan, would love for breakfast each and every morning. If you're at the Texas Fair, definitely check it out. It is awesome. Gotcha. Appreciate that. Now, guys, we've already discussed the other rim, and I was told that all these games are winnable, and it's my lack of skill that's preventing me from winning any games. Anyway, okay, let's move on 
to the next activity and that is going to be sporting events in the state of Texas. So whether you like the NBA and you want to check out the Dallas Mavericks, San Antonio Spurs, the Houston Rockets, maybe you like baseball and you're into the MLB Texas Rangers, numerous baseball teams throughout the state of Texas, or maybe you like soccer. Okay, I'm not a soccer guy. But we do have professional soccer here in Texas. In addition to that, maybe you like the NHL. You can go check out the Dallas Stars. Plenty of professional sporting events right here in the state of Texas. College football, basketball, college athletics is huge in the state of Texas as well. And probably not even as popular as Friday Night Lights. High school sporting events are extremely popular as well in the state of Texas. So if you're into sports, if you like athletic activities, Texas is going to have a plethora of different entertainment options and sporting events that you and your family can attend. But best of all, guys, if you're a basketball fan, come check out my Be Elite Kids in Dallas, Texas. We have some of the best skilled basketball players in the country, and I'm upset about that. Okay, it all starts from the top, and it starts with Coach Soto. Let's see if I can get a bucket. All right, ready? Right there in the blue. Focus. I've never missed twice in a row in my life. Well, the day might be a good day. My man does not believe in me. <laughs> okay, I'm like Michael Jordan. Fuel to the fire. Here we go. Should I bank it or not? Right here. Focus on the second rim real solid. Oh! Right, favor, sir. Step back just a little bit. Hey, I'm Jay today. Take that right there. <laughs> right see, see all this trash talking? They wouldn't be doing that if we're on actual basketball court. I know that for a fact. Let's go. <laughs> Once again, I am not the guy to make excuses, but uh, this is a very small ball. Guys, I got big arms, okay? I can't shoot that little ball in close proximity to the rim. I shoot with range. Let's go do something else. Come on. Come on now. Really? That was a spoof. Did you really think I was going to miss? You must not know Coach Soto. I got that strap. I actually won five more, except I can't hold them. I gave them away to random kids, but I'm going to go ahead and take these two home. Guys, all I do is win. That's what I do. Okay, let's move on to the next popular destination, and that is going to be the Galveston Beach. And uh, let me pause on that, guys, because I'm always honest. Is it the SoCal beaches? Is it South Beach? Is it Destin Ford? Is it Cancun, Mexico? The answer is absolutely not, okay? It is definitely not one of the best beaches in the world by any means. However, it is a very popular destination right here in the state of Texas. Not to mention, that is where we go to catch the Disney Cruise out into the Caribbean, okay? So a lot of big ships leave out of Galveston. And if you wanna enjoy the beach, you wanna walk on a pier, you wanna enjoy some fine food and cuisine, Galveston is definitely the place that you should visit. If you enjoy the beach life, then Galveston Beach checks many of the boxes. Galveston Beach is located in Galveston Island along the Gulf of Mexico and Texas. It's known for its beautiful coastline and recreational activities. While opinions on what constitutes a nice beach can vary depending on individual preferences, Galveston Beach generally receives positive reviews for its soft sands, pleasant water temperatures, and various amenities. The beach is also home to several restaurants, bars, and shops, making it a popular tourist destination. All right, I'm always tempted when I go to Quick Trip or 7-Eleven to get a hot dog, and they look terrible. So I'm at Fletcher's, going to test one of the world famous, one of the world famous corny dogs. I'll let you know if it's any good. I'm getting a hard time from the staff because I've never had a Fletcher's hot dog, and uh, several of the public here as well is letting me know how good it is. But once again, I don't rely on people's opinions until I taste them myself. About to find out. Okay, straight out of the fryer, right into my mouth. <laughs> Let's see if this is any good. It's hot, but it's dang good, guys. Definitely recommend it. Okay, moving on to our next destination. And it's probably one of my favorite cities. I don't know, it's tied for one or maybe second place. And that is going to be the city of Austin, which has one of the most beautiful skylines in the state of Texas. The lake flows through downtown. It's extremely beautiful if you enjoy the outdoors. If you like hilly terrain, 
unlike Houston and Dallas Fort Worth, you'll enjoy residing or at least visiting the city of Austin. In addition to that, it's also known as the live music capital of the world. So if you enjoy bands, live bands in particular, with all types of variety of music, Austin is definitely going to be your top destination. It is absolutely one of the most beautiful cities and locations in the state of Texas. Austin is often at the top of the list of best things to do in Texas, and for a good reason. It features some wonderful parks, hot springs, museums, and the Colorado River, but the main reason to visit Austin is what happens after dark. It all begins with the bats. Austin is home to the largest bat colony in the United States. From March until fall, 1.5 million bats fly under the Congress Avenue Bridge into the sky. It's a spellbinding sight that takes up to 45 minutes. Okay, let's move on to our next attraction, and that is going to be the San Antonio Riverwalk. If you enjoy fine dining, quick dining, particularly Mexican cuisine, and some of the best margaritas in the world, obviously, then you're going to want to visit the San Antonio Riverwalk. There's a ton of shops, there's a ton of restaurants and bars, live music, plenty of entertainment right there on the Riverwalk. And what I enjoy doing whenever I visit our San Antonio office is I just sit there on a patio, enjoy myself a nice bottle of cab, and I just people watch for hours on and plenty of characters coming and going so if you enjoy kicking back relaxing enjoy some food some drinks having great company around you with beautiful sights the san antonio riverwalk is going to be a location that you're going to want to visit the san antonio riverwalk is a picturesque pedestrian walkway stretching along the san antonio river located in the heart of san antonio it is one of the city's most popular tourist attractions drawing millions of visitors each year the riverwalk features a network of walkways one story beneath the streets of downtown San Antonio, lined with shops, bars, restaurants, and entertainment venues. The area is adorned with lush landscape, including trees, flowers, and other greenery, making it a tranquil and scenic urban escape. Visitors can take a leisure stroll along the Silverwalk, dine at one of the many Riverside restaurants, or enjoy a boat tour to experience the area's unique charm and ambiance. Okay, everyone, let's move on to our next activity. And when you finish up at the Riverwalk, you can walk right down the road and visit the Alamo. If you're into history, in particular Texas history, the Alamo is definitely going to be one of your most important stops right here in the state of Texas. The Alamo is a historic mission and fortress compound in San Antonio, Texas. It played a significant role in the Texas Revolution. The Alamo is best known for the Battle of the Alamo, which took place from February 23rd to March 6, 1836. During this pivotal event, a small group of Texas defenders, including renowned figures like Davy Crockett and Jim Bowie, fought against a much larger Mexican force led by Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. Today, the Alamo is a popular tourist destination and a symbol of Texas' struggle for independence. It has been preserved as a historic site. The Alamo is an important part of American history and continues to be a significant culture symbol for the state of Texas. The Alamo is definitely going to be one of the most popular attractions in the state of Texas. If you want to learn about Texas history, not only about the Alamo, there's artifacts from hundreds and hundreds of years ago as well. You can literally spend all day at the Alamo and learn a thing or two about Texas history. Okay, let's move on to our next attraction. Might be the biggest attraction in the world, and that is the Houston Space Center. So if you're tired of residing in the state of Texas, or maybe on Earth, and you want to catch a rocket ship to another worldly destination, then Houston is the place that you're going to want to visit if you even believe that we've actually ever gone to outer space. And maybe you believe that we actually went to the moon. Not to get sidetracked, guys. I am not a conspiracy theorist. However, NASA is definitely a great place to go and visit, and at the very least, be entertained. The Houston Space Center, more commonly known as the Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center, is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Center for human spaceflight activities. Located in Houston, Texas, it serves as one of NASA's key facilities for training astronauts and coordinating human spaceflight missions. Visitors to the Houston Space Center can explore numerous exhibits, artifacts, and interactive displays that provide insights into NASA's space exploration history and ongoing projects. 
The center also offers educational programs and activities designed to inspire and educate the public about space exploration, science, and technology. Moving on to Big Bend National Park. Nestled deep in the southwest Texas, this expansive Dasala Park extends along the Mexican border for over 100 miles. The national park is an outdoor adventure paradise with a distinct array of ecosystems, including a desert, mountain, and river region. Guys, what a great day at the fair in Dallas, Texas, one of the best cities in the world. So hopefully you learned a little bit about the great state of Texas and have a couple of new attractions that you might want to visit if you're planning to relocate or visit the state of Texas. For now, I'm going to get back to our North Dallas office. I got to reply to your emails, text messages, voicemails as well. If you're thinking about relocating to the great state of Texas, regardless if it's in Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, Middle, throughout the state of Texas, my team and I would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction. For now, I'll see you on the next video.